wake up at 4.30. We're off to Camp Pendleton. We are going to be uh, shooting some guns today. Doing confidence courses and seeing what the life of a Marine looks like after boot camp. We're also going to watch the end of what's called the Crucible. It's the final test for any Marine recruit. It's 54 hours of tests and physical challenges. They get three meals and it all culminates with a giant hike up a, up a mountain or a hill called the Grim Reaper. young men uh, get awarded this great, great honor. That is NIT, the Individual Simulated Marksmanship Training Center. The red dots is where I hit. Now, just for the record, I went through two magazines. Three dots. I'm going to blame this on computer simulation. That was you. That's so, Oh, are you a professional marksman? Do you I've see this one? I've never fired a gun before. Oh, you're too. Say that yeah. again? I've never fired a weapon before. Okay, I just completely failed. So I'm going to type give it another shot and see if I'm not a little bit more accurate. That is zero. <laughs> I literally could not do that more. We're doing it again, and this time I actually hit the target! Yes! I'm not totally lame! Wait, wait, So that's, that's mine. You yes. see that red dot in the center? That's a bullseye. Got myself a bullseye. I'm not a giant face. Okay, we're at the live range. We have our earplugs in. We hear fire in the background. We've got some live rounds here. And then the rubber hits the road. Very important time. Coaches, the line is hot. The line is hot. Um, we are now going to leadership training. It is called 12 Shows. This is what the recruits do to do a lot of team building. The challenges are physical. They're also mental. When the recruits get here, they're often exhausted because it's part of the crucible. So they're tired, they're eating much in three days. And then they get to go do these mental and physical challenges. So, let's go get it. What do you say? Rule! Touch red, you are dead. Touch black, you don't come back. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to... Um, you gotta make there we go. Oh, oh, oh! You're good, you're good, you're good. Don't step on the red. Don't step on, you're good, you're good. What's on the other side? Red. Same thing? Right. So once you get up here, guys, we're all good. Okay. All right. We need instructor later, sir. Oh! It's like a newborn. Oh, man! Wow, glad you're not going back and leave. All right. Hey, hey. This is my foot. This is how wide the opening is to get up into the cockpit. Pedal. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. 
Scott Ernst. This vehicle is responsible for taxing troops from ships to the shore in combat situations because this one's the one with the gun. 40 Mike Mike and the 50 cal. There's your 50 caliber machine gun. Here's the 40 millimeter. It's commonly referred to as the 40 Mike Mike grenade launcher. We've got Sergeant Justin Mills explaining the rest to us. The other two, the first one is a communications vehicle, so it's not not, not normally ever going to be in the midst of any kind of battle. This one is utilized for actual combat. We have a 40 and a 50 on here in the machine gun, and um, we basically just transport troops from ship to shore, and as well as, uh, in common words, Iraq, Afghanistan. We've been going out and utilizing these for normal combat operations. So this AAV I'm in now is for recovery, so it's got a winch that can pull 30,000 pounds. Triple A for the AAV community. If anything happens, if anything goes down, we have all the special tools and equipment available here in this vehicle to fix it on the spot.